All right, welcome to another episode of Exotic Salvage. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, pass this with your friends. Let's grow this channel. We'll keep going over vehicles and what the salvage values are. So let's jump right in. We have a little bit older car. It's a Corvette 2019, um, you know, the 1LT. But I know a lot of people like this car, so I've grabbed I've seen it. I said, let's, let's jump right into it. Um, this one's also interesting. I, you know, a couple of new things on this one. So uh, let's jump in over here first. So it's a lost type water. So this is going to be a flood car. Uh, primary damage, fresh water. If you're going to buy a flood car, buy fresh water. Don't buy uh, salt water. And they do mark this as fresh water, salt water, because it makes a difference in the value. Um, a fresh water car is not as likely to rust. You could just have electronics problems. But a salt water car, you're definitely going to be obviously dealing with rust. That's a no brainer. So the insurance company does uh, take note of what kind of water it was flooded in. That way they can do it at auction. But the title document is Scrap Michigan. So they have put a scrap title on this one, meaning it's not going back on the road. Um, a dealer could buy it, such as myself, and fix it. And we could put dealer plates on it, even though we have no title, and we could legally drive this thing around. Um, you know, we, so we could get it for cheap and run dealer tags on it with no title and drive it because nobody checks behind us on if the things we're putting dealer plates on even have titles to them. Uh, crazy enough. But the average Joe, you're not putting it back on the road to scrap. So you can pull the motor out and put it in your race car. Only had 8,000 miles on it, which is pretty impressive for 2019. And it says actual. So they have uh, verified that. It did have the 6.2 liter in it. And it was a progressive casualty. Uh, vehicle. So they're claiming that the actual cash value was 58139 and the estimated repair cost was 58139 So being they decided to scrap this thing out, I'm guessing because of it being a flood, they this insurance, which is progressive, it's kind of weird. I'm guessing they didn't want to mess with it and they literally didn't even waste the time of writing estimates. It's kind of hard with the flood stuff to write an estimate on it because you don't know what all electronics are bad. So I guess they just put uh, the repair cost is its value and uh, wrote this one off. So it's good as gone. Let's go through the pictures. You know, but if you were buying it to make a race car out of it, this would be a pretty, pretty good one. All right, so here's your dots right here. Okay, these are what you, one thing you're looking for. So the dots are with the insurance company marked the water line. So this is where the water made it up to. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess the WO means at the time that this was wrote on it, it won't open is what I'm guessing that it means. Uh, they probably didn't even want to get inside of it, honestly. Um, probably just didn't even care. Um, but that's the water line. So the water line come up to right underneath the headlights. It did not go to the headlights. It don't appear. And we also have it over here on the side of the car. Uh, you can see right here on the door of the water line. So that's how deep this car was in the water. Looks like the seats were underwater. Um, it says done and it says no key on the side window so they probably didn't even care about getting a key for it water line is one thing that y'all need to look for on these the water line makes or breaks you and this auction yard was nice enough to actually show you a picture of the water line because if you weren't educated to know what to look for then you want to know and i'll show you another place to look here in a second if they show it which i don't think they did and i see all their interior pictures are up close so normally if they catch the door jam you can normally see the water line inside the door jam so for some reason this auction house decided to take a picture of the dipstick you know it's not really going to tell us much i guess we could look at it and see if there's water you know on it or not but yeah i mean that's it's just not gonna it's not gonna be that big of a thing to go off of so i guess whoever's taking pictures thought it'd be helpful or maybe use instructor to take them so the water line is a big thing you can pay attention to on these floods. Let's see if we can spin this one. It does have 360 on it. So again, it shows the water line, but the car's been washed. A lot of these uh, places, they pressure wash them off real fast or wash them to bring a little bit more value, but the water is not going to take off that paint marker um, that insurance company has put on there. So again, there's your water line. And there is, no, there is an interior shot. Let's see if we can see any giveaways. Um, we cannot and not see any. I'm looking for dirt, like in the floorboard or even grass and stuff that you would see like washed in from floodwaters, but you don't see none of it on this one. So sometimes you can also see stains on the interior panel where the water got up to, but I don't see it. All right, let's dive into the uh, price of what you're gonna pay if you wanna build a race car. Man, y'all know this thing would be a sick race car. 
that body style. Rebuild the 6.2, put some turbos on it. Y'all know the deal. So it's only been once. Uh, it was on approval. $22,275 with a flood scrap title. So don't ever let nobody tell you that uh, flood cars or salvage vehicles are worth nothing because even with a uh, scrap title, it can never go on the road. This thing was bought either to build a race car or for parts and somebody still uh, was willing to give 22000 on it. An insurance company said, no, sir, buddy. Uh, we think it's worth more than that. We're going to run it again. So on approval right there, IAA, uh, on the 2nd of January. I meant February. We're in February now. The second or the seventh of February. I'm sorry. Um, Twenty-two thousand. So we'll see if this thing pops up again on our list. That's it for tonight. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thanks, y'all.